Big time news out of college football. Malachi Nelson, the five-star quarterback who decommitted from Oklahoma over the weekend. He's following Lincoln Riley to USC. Nelson released a tweet confirming the news saying, quote, yeah, this feels right. He's both the number two quarterback and the number two recruit in the 24-7 sports class of 2023 rankings. For more on this, we welcome in the director of recruiting for 24-7 Sports, our guy Steve Wiltfong. Uh, Steve, your general reaction to this news is what? It does not come as a great surprise, but it is the first shoe to fall in what we could expect to be many. Well, all the stars aligned for Malachi Nelson, him committing to USC. That's the school that he always thought he was going to go to. But then what happened? He connected with Lincoln Riley when Lincoln Riley was at Oklahoma, and he committed to the Sooners to play for Coach Riley that offense and be developed by that coach to be maybe the next Baker Mayfield or the next Kyler Murray or the next Jalen Hurts. And what I mean by that is very productive and getting your name called high in the NFL draft, perhaps winning a title or two along the way. And, and, and with Lincoln Riley now at USC, Malachi Nelson going to the school that he always wanted to go to. The stars certainly aligned for this young man. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, they might be giving Lincoln Riley a Heisman vote sooner or later if he keeps minting these young men as such. Uh, Malachi Nelson would love to be the next in line on that list. This one obviously made a ton of sense. SC kid going to SC. Uh, it's like you said, stars aligning for this young man. But there's a list of young men who have decommitted from Oklahoma in the wake of this news. How many of those guys, you don't have to put a number on it, but how much of this type of thing do you expect those young men heading to SC with the coach they committed to? Well, I think Nelson's teammate, Mikhail Lemon, the five-star receiver, is certainly one to watch to, to follow suit. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Brandon Innes. Certainly he's going to have some interest in, in USC, the five-star receiver uh, from Florida. Trayon Webb's a top 247 running back from, from Florida as well. Oklahoma had the number one recruiting class in the country in 2023 uh, with, uh, under Lincoln Riley's watch. So they're certainly uh, uh, we're in on some elite guys. Uh, um, but I, I think that another guy to watch in 2022 is Relique Brown, one of the most explosive running backs in the country. Lincoln Riley and, and Coach Simmons were in home with Relique yesterday, and the 24-7 sports crystal ball is leaning towards USC. And, and USC was maybe going to be tough to beat before Lincoln Riley got there for the Oklahoma commit. But now that Lincoln Riley's there, stars aligning again for that young man. Yeah, Lincoln Riley uh, bringing the it factor back to USC in less than a week's time here. And it begs the question, Steve, on a broader scope, how quickly do you expect this turnaround to happen? Because the Pac-12 right now, with all due respect to Oregon, Oregon State, some other teams out there, it's for the taking. You now have one of the perennial coaches in all of college football and a top recruiter taking over that program. Do you expect this thing to turn around in short order? Well, I think that Lincoln Riley is one of the most visible head coach recruiters in the country. When you look at Oklahoma, four top 10 classes in the last five years, tracking for another. And then, like I said, number one in, in the 2023 cycle, I thought Oklahoma was recruiting at an all-time high as Coach Riley was really starting to find his sweet spot. And really, he's the one that leads the charge on the trail. He builds a personal relationship with all their top targets on both sides of the ball. And with that, the kids feel connected to the coach and it makes them more comfortable with the university. Same thing with their families. So that's what USC is going to get a healthy dose of that at the top of the food chain. But for USC, they've had great quarterback play. They've had cool toys to play with at, at the skill position. I think that for me to uh, be able to predict the results on the field, which I think Lincoln Riley is one of the best coaches in college football, it's going to be changing that culture, making them a tougher program, and, and, and getting more tough, hard-nosed physical football players at the point of attack on both sides of the ball. When Lincoln Riley starts landing those guys, uh, look out Pac-12. Steve, we appreciate you. As always, keep that phone close. I'm sure we will talk soon. Yeah, man, absolutely. You guys take care. And don't forget, there's only one place to be for all your recruiting needs. That's 24-7 Sports, our team, nobody better in the business, bringing you all the latest breaking news, rankings, composites, and more. Join us, 24-7 Sports, your home for recruiting. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.